Representative Louis Gohmert of Texas gave a speech at a right-wing conference, and he made the most ironic argument I've ever heard against Hillary Clinton. I'm serious about this. A true believer does what Jesus do did, and still does, but, you know, you don't make fun of people who are impaired, have special needs, and whether you like her or not, Hillary Clinton has made clear she is mentally impaired, and uh, <laughs> this is not somebody you should be making fun of. Now, Dude, you're Louis Gohmert. Louis frickin' Gohmert. You're the dumbest congressperson in America. I'm not just saying that. I'm really not. I mean, the only person in the running with him is Steve King of Iowa. But I honestly think Louis Gohmert edges him out. So this is like sheer projection. I would bet, I, everybody knows I despise Hillary Clinton. But I would bet all of the money in my bank account that Hillary Clinton has a significantly higher IQ than Louis Gohmert does. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any special needs, Hillary Clinton. She has special needs. Gotta take care of folks like that. Can't make fun of them. You're Louis Gohmert. So, <laughs> to prove my case here, went to the archives and dug up an old secular talk compilation of some of Louis Gohmert's best moments. This administration has so many Muslim Brotherhood members uh, that have influence that uh, they just are making wrong decisions for America. They've been battling this socialist health care, the nationalization of health care that is going to absolutely kill uh, senior citizens. They'll put them on lists and, and force them to die early. Thank you, dear God, for the gift of Andrew Breitbart. People have got to understand that we're serious about stopping the massive load we are putting on our children and their children. If uh, you're oriented toward animals, bestiality, uh, then, you know, that that's not something that could be used, held against you or any bias be held against you for that, which means you'd have to strike any laws against bestiality. If you're oriented toward corpses, toward children, you know, there are all kinds of perversions, what most of us would call perversions. Some would say it, it sounds like fun. Tell us about the research. You're attacking the messenger. Anderson, you're better than this. You used to be good. You used to find that there was a problem, and you would go after it. Sir, I'm, I'm just asking for evidence of now, something sure, you I said on the floor of the Southern House. Accent. I did. And you listen, this is a problem. If you had spent as much time looking into the problem as you have been trying to come after me and belittle me this week. Sir, you do you want to offer any evidence? I'm giving you an opportunity to say what research and evidence you have. You've offered none other than yelling. Do you ever look at your website? Do you ever look at your website? Do you? Sure. Because if you had, you would have. I, mean, I had one guy that was particularly out of line, and I warned him three times, and then we duct taped his head, and he, we didn't hear from him till it was time, his turn to talk. And That's when we, you were a judge. That was when I was a judge of felony court. That didn't go and, in your courtroom. Well, well, yeah. you just had to. You gave him three warnings, made yeah, the record, fair. and then wrapped him up. We know Al Qaeda has camps over with the drug cartels on the other side of the Mexican border. We know that people are now being trained to come in and act like Hispanic when they're radical Islamists. You won't be satisfied till I bring in someone who says I'm a terrorist and you're right. I'll send. No, I'll take I'll take a legitimate former FBI Seattle agent who actually offers evidence. If you can present that person, let us know off camera. We'd be happy to talk to them off camera. I but so far, you presented FBI nothing. FBI agent. I, I promised him I would not reveal his name. Well, that's convenient. Woman, we, we, uh, you follow me around the world. You see me hugging Muslims around the world. Thank you, President Barack Hussein Obama. This will be quite a legacy for you. And I'm not one of those who says he's not a Christian. All I know is that's between him and God. But what I do know is he has helped jumpstart a new Ottoman Empire. I'm not going to debate the merits of whether we should or should not have gone to Vietnam. But what I will tell you is Vietnam was winnable 
but people in Washington decided we would not win it. Ultimately, they're saying you have to hire whatever Satan worshiper, whatever cross-dresser you think it might be immoral if that's against your religious belief. You are going to be forced to abandon your religious beliefs, and we've been seeing that with some of the requirements under Obamacare. This administration seems to have a hard time recognizing members of terrorist groups who are allowed into the White House. You're aware of that happening, aren't you? Absolutely not. When you attack somebody's integrity and say they made statements that were not true, then of course uh, that is uh, raises a point of personal privilege. But the attorney general failed to answer my the questions about what was after Bud. He went back and 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 regular order, Mr. Chairman. Aspersions the on my the asparagus. The, the, the gentleman is the chairman. Aspersions the on my the asparagus. Louis Gomert attacking somebody else's special needs is like Mussolini attacking somebody else's fascism or Donald Trump attacking somebody else's orange skin. Definitely my favorite part of that was the Ottoman Empire one. <laughs> because what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. Obama's reestablishing re the Ottoman Empire. Do you even know what the Ottoman Empire is? That makes absolutely no sense. That makes less than no sense. How is he bringing back the Ottoman Empire? What are you saying? <laughs> or I should probably not go after you this harsh, though, because you might think I'm casting aspersions on your asparagus.